And now to Virginia Beach. The desperate search for a beloved teacher seems to have come to an end. Police believe they found the body of Rabbi Ruvain Bauman in the waters of the Atlantic this afternoon. Tonight, we're hearing from two men who came from New York to help with the recovery efforts. Ten on your side, Tamara Scott talked with the team about Rabbi Bauman and the search for his body. Tamara, what did they have to say about this recovery? Well, it was a private search team from Maryland where the ones who were spotted his body on the water today around 1.30. And with the help of the Virginia Beach Marine Rescue and Police, his body was recovered shortly after. Search teams who have been looking all week say this has had a sad end to an impactful story. No other words, just saying that he's a hero. He was trying to save a child. The child was safe and he was pulled in. Rabbi Ravain Bauman stormed into the waters of the Atlantic Tuesday afternoon, but he never made it out. For nearly a week, this beach community by the Back Bay National Wildlife Refuge searched high and low. Today, that search ended. The search was called off. He was found and he's going to be buried tomorrow. Volunteers with Haverim of Rockland came from New York to help with the search this week. As soon as we heard about this, we didn't even think twice. He called me up. We got to go out for a search. I, got, I got into my car and literally drove down. Mushi Herzog says they put in all of their resources to find Rabbi Bauman. We send out one of our teams. We start searching on the water, on the shore of the water, in the water with boats, with choppers, with planes, with everything we had. The Coast Guard suspended their search earlier in the week, but police officials and this organization never gave up. At least 50 men and women help them search every day. It's hard to say, but the feelings between us, the way we do things, is when anybody is in any need of anything, we're there to help them. For them, today's outcome is bittersweet. It's very sad, the story is very sad, but overexcited that this unknown part that we were living until now, this unknown situation got dissolved, and now we know what the situation is. We have the body, the family can start crying on it, and no one, like, what's, what's the next step? They say traditional Jewish burial plans have begun, and they expect a service for Rabbi Bauman tomorrow or early next week. Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.